Okay, so I am going to do some paint pour. And I'm going to do some different techniques I've never done before. As a matter of fact, I have not done paint pour in years. But these techniques that I'm going to do, like I said, I have never tried. So we're going to see how it works. <laughs> so anyways, um, most of the stuff I got, I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, these right here are just um, 8 by 10s I'm going to do four, four different techniques. And three of them are the 8 by 10s and one's a bigger one, but it doesn't have the sides here. And what I did, I just have a like square bowl here, covered it up with, uh, you know, we get all these at the grocery store, right? And uh, you can get the, the plastic roll. I've already had some of these with my, my concrete stuff that I do, which I never used, um, but you can get that at Dollar Tree. Um, the paints I've already had, uh, the different paints for my concrete projects, and um, I did pick up a few that I've seen, but if you're just doing it for the fun of it, you can, um, you can pick up paints at Dollar Tree, but now they're $1.25, but you can get paints at Walmart for $0.50. Cents. Um, but if you're looking to do this as a business uh, or to sell or you know you just want to do a lot of it um, you can get you can order from Amazon order it in bulk of course it's cheaper to order supplies in bulk uh, Walmart I found um, just by looking it seems like you can order a lot of the bulk stuff on Walmart but the paint is cheaper to buy um, at Walmart because uh, you can get a lot of it for 50 cents. They have a better selection than Dollar Tree. But again, I already had a bunch of paint as it is. And I just, I did pick up a couple at Dollar Tree just because I was there and they did have a couple of different colors. So anyways... Some of the stuff, I'm just wigging it because um, I didn't have the right equipment and so, you know, it is what it is. Um, I am using, um, I had these little, you can get them at Dollar Tree, I, I had these already and that's what I mixed up. Uh, my paint in. Uh, the one thing that I did not have was the little craft um, sticks, popsicle sticks. They were out at Dollar Tree, but I did have a lot of the plastic silverware, so that's what I'm using. Uh, why not? I wasn't going to go to Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Mar Michaels to uh, pick those up because this is just a fly-by-night thing. Um, also, you'll see as I go some of the other things I just had to wig uh, to make it work, right? This is just, a, again, a fly-by-night video just to see what I can do here. Um, and I already got my paints mixed up. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I have no clue. Like I said, I have not done paint pouring for years and I am trying these different uh, text techniques I've never done them before um, so it's not expensive um, you know if, if you do your research like I said some people are doing these to sell and if you really do your research uh, you can find um, where you can pick up stuff in bulk at different places especially if you can't get out you can get online and uh, pick up the excuse me the canvases cheaper I know a lot of people will use a stand that will swivel um, just, just not 
not doing this professionally. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, a lot of people will mix up their, their paints uh, with different things. They use, I don't even know what that's called, to make the cells or whatever. Or they put glue in it. Uh, I just mix my paint with water. And I did not even go... Um, by a ratio I just put water in it until it looked like it was a good consistency so um, I did make for what I'm gonna put on the base I did make it a little bit thicker for for what I'm doing for this first one so anyways we'll, we'll get started and you'll see as I go and do some other ones uh, why I said I had to rig some things up because I wasn't going to go out and, and uh, buy expensive things to do this. So anyways, on this first one, this will be my most difficult one to try to do, but we're just going to see how it goes. I don't know. So this is going to be a multicolor base. Um, I'm going to put my gloves on to start this off, and this is another thing, I have a lot of medical gloves here, but I do have um, very, very tiny hands, so as you can see, um, I just got to go with that as well, but we're going to pour some of this in the middle. And I'm just going to use, they also um, sell those little spatula things. I'm not, I'm not going to go there. Like I said, guys, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Don't know. Like I said, this is going to be a multicolor and I wanted this to be a little thicker. I think I made this too thin. We'll see. I'm not putting my gloves on yet. Definitely wanted it to get to be thicker. Let me get the sides there. But might be pausing this to wash my hands too. Or to turn this around, or all that good stuff. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want it to go all the way up there. Now I guess it doesn't matter. I definitely wanted it thicker there, but that's okay. Ick. All right. So then I'm going to do black over here. Okay. 
And the black seems to be um, thicker than the white. And I don't want it mixed together, and I don't know how this is going to go. Really don't. And I'm just using my my plastic uh, plastic knife here. I'm going to go over the white because I did want it to go up. Oh, and I did not want it to. I don't want that to be marbled, but... Okay, I'm going to get my gloves on at this time. I'm going to have to turn this around. I'm going to have this turquoise. And that's why I like to have it on something instead of this just being on the plastic here. I definitely wanted this base to be thicker. But that's okay. So I'm just going to make sure that the, the sides are all covered. The reason why I wanted it thicker is because I didn't want it to run and I'm going to tilt it up to get the excess paint off and I didn't want it to run like you see it run into the white. I want to get all the excess paint off. When hurting 
tilt it this way. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just take my hands and go over the sides. I don't want the white to be blue or black, so I guess it doesn't matter. I've seen where the, the white kind of went through here, so I'm just going to even it out a little bit. Said. I've never done this before, so. That's okay. That's not going to bother me. First try. Okay. So that's kind of what we're looking at. <laughs> In the sides, I really didn't want um, kind of a marble effect. I guess it's okay. I guess I'm not going to worry about that. So, anyways, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take my, my gloves off. I'll put this on pause just for a minute um, and do some cleanup here. Okay. I got some paint off of 
the plastic. So, anyways, um, yeah, and I got paint on me too. So, then I'm going to just use this uh, little torchy thing. And this is one of those gas station things. Let's see if I can work this puppy. Never used one of these before. Oh, it's unlocked. Maybe if I unlock it. I think this is supposed to bring out cells or something. I don't know. This is just your gas station. I think for naughty things. I don't know. People use these. I've never used one before. I guess you gotta be careful not to burn. I don't even know if it's. <clears throat> up there if it's hot enough I don't know okay so anyways um, this is a very small canvas to be doing this but we're gonna do it anyways um, ew I don't have my gloves on so I am just going to start putting, like I said, the, the consistency is just really thin. And I am just going to start putting, I got a bunch of colors here. I have uh, just, just a bunch. And what I'm going to do is I am doing a blowout technique. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to work. I have no clue. So, um, we're going to see. We're going to start over here on the turquoise. Um, and I'm just going to put dots here. Uh, maybe a little bit of the turquoise. This stuff might even, or not turquoise, but um, a little bit of the metallic. Some of the blue. Um, I have some purple, and this is really thin. I don't even know if it's too thin. I have no idea. I'm just kind of going with it. Some yellow. Oops. Oops. I am like really making a mess. And maybe black in the center. And I'm just going to blow it. Um, blow it in all sorts of different directions here. So this you might not see very well, and I do apologize. I don't know if you can see that or not. Should have got more gloves on because I got to I'm going to pause and get more gloves because I really have to turn this thing around. Okay, I am back. Um, I am not happy with that. <laughs> I did go ahead and blow out the rest of that. I mean, the flower is too big. I didn't want it to go all the way over. 
Um, and it's not really uh, showing those cells either, but that's okay. I guess we don't have to show cells here. But I mean it's bright. It's really bright, but this is basically like a blow. You just blow on it. But we're going to keep going and I'm going through a lot of gloves because like I said, I should not have made the base as thin. But we're just going to keep going. Why not? And I really made a mess here. I should have uh, really cleaned this up. But I'm going to try because uh, I, I want to show some of that turquoise. So um, not sure. Let's try not to go out as far into the turquoise. Um, oops. This yellow I made a little bit too... And I've put a lot, a lot of colors in this too. Which maybe I shouldn't have done. I don't think this one's going to get the cells. That's okay. Um, see what this one looks like when I blow it out. So we're going to blow this one out. Sometimes you really got to get in there and blow. And I am really ma making a mess, mess, mess. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this out because I am just really going through a lot of gloves doing this, and I shouldn't have to. But I should have probably changed this whole thing out before I did this. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I had to do a cleanup here because it was a mess everywhere. So sometimes I will have to put it on pause to do a cleanup. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do one more over here. And the Democrats now did a major wealth redistribution to benefit the wealthy. There's really no other way to look at this. You can use their own talking points against them. And I think that one one thing that you don't do, John, when we're in, uh, when we have inflation, when many economists say we're in a recession or about to be or continuing to be, you don't start spending money. 
like Trump and sailors, and that's what Biden's Washington is doing. And uh, by the way, Biden is going to be on the ballot everywhere in November. That's why nobody wants to campaign with him. And we'll see what the reaction is to the student debt announcement, which is coming up about 50 minutes from now. We should point out that a lot of those blue collar workers now identify with the public to a greater degree than they do with the Democrats. See where this goes, Kellyanne. Always great to spend time with you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Sarah? Shoot up the sound of that dad who went after Elizabeth Warren when she ran for president. Who's going to pay me? I paid off my kids' debt. Failing our children, reaching a new extreme in a county that's become a hotbed of controversy. Fairfax County, Virginia, allowing a twice charged sex offender to work as a middle school guidance counselor for nearly two years after his arrest. How does that happen? There is a lot going on in Fairfax County. Oh. Plus, President Biden's plan to let millions off of the hook for the student loans. It's coming under fire from both sides of the aisle and now fears the move will do the opposite of what the president says it will do. Instead, widening the nation's wealth gap while driving up the debt. Charles Payne is here and sounds off coming up next. I don't have. Most of this money is going to go to people in the upper 60%. Right. Every day we're hard working the Americans are going to have to pay them, you know, basically bail them out. And I'm just going to blow this out. Oops. Sometimes you really got to get down there and really blow it. Yeah, hold it up and see if you can see blowing. And if you don't like the colors too, you can add some more colors in there. I'm not sure if I like those colors. <laughs> I know sometimes you can't see exactly what I'm doing. Ah, what I'm doing in here. Just don't know if I like that or not. 
We're going to work on the other side. I might blow it out a little more. Not sure. I'm going to turn it around. Okay. We're just going to take the gloves off. I'm just going to get paint on me. Don't care. So, um, we're going to work over on the opposite side. I don't know if you can see. That's what we have over there so far. Not sure if I like it or not, but it is what it is. So, I'm going to work over here. I think I'm just making them too big for this. For this little tiny. You know, we're heading in the wrong direction. Everything we debate, how much more inflation, and then after that, how bad recession will be. Looking at the evil one two punch of, of economic uh, of misery, and it's all being authored by a White House that keeps lavishing all these amazing financial benefits on the most successful people in America, the folks who are on the golden path to enjoying every, all the benefits that this country offers. I say congratulations. Now we'll have to match. A cab driver. Or someone who, who couldn't go to college, but maybe started a business. Why? Why is separation? Why have we put that? It's a new caste system. It is a new caste system. I'm telling you, it is. A, this is the greatest form of elitism I've ever seen. I'm telling you, I've never seen a person. I got too much of that in there. I'm going to put one group of Americans above everyone else. And by the way, every single thing that President Biden has done. I'm going to go ahead and try to blow this out, and I am sorry if you can't see it. It's kind of hard to blow it out. hold it up to me but that's the blowout just like that better so we'll do another one I think I'm just making them too big. Why did a magistrate decide to let this person out on a unsecured bond? Why did he serve no jail? 
try blowing this one out. Those actually connected. So there's that one. So we'll have to try to make the other one kind of small. Um, I know, I lifted it up. I do apologize for that. Falling everywhere. me to be able to blow. Use strongness, discomfort, and strength. I'm just like, we see a better 
All right, that is about where I am going to end that. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to move these paints and wash my hands. We'll take a better look. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm not too enthused with it. <laughs> and I know you couldn't see me do a lot of stuff. Basically, and there's a piece of hair right there. So basically what I was just doing is little drops of different colors and I just bloat it with my mouth. Um, but it just doesn't look, I don't know, it just doesn't look even to me, but um, because, you know, it was supposed to be even of the black and the turquoise and then the white in the middle, but it is what it is. First time I ever tried doing this, so... Um, I'm going to use this. I don't even know how close you get. And, of course, this isn't the right tool, I'm sure. This is just a... I don't want to burn it. This is just a, up at the gas station. Cheapy little thing. I'm seeing a few cells in there. Not many, but a few. Okay, now we're going to attempt to do something even stupider. <laughs> um, I'm going to get a... don't know how this is going to go either, but we are going to try to... Just make some... I don't know... <laughs> little designs out here and I'm just using a, a skewer just a you can get them at Dollar Tree too um, don't know why I'm doing this I could be making it look worse. Don't know. I'm just basically putting little kind of little circles out and making them come out here. don't know if you can see that or not. Ah, just stuck my hand in there. So I'm basically, um, and I know it's hard to, to see, I'm just kind of going in here and making circles and then making them come out into the turquoise using the tip of this uh, skewer and then just wiping it off to give it a little dimension. I don't know.
A district attorney in Northern California is sounding the alarm over the sheer amount of criminal suspects released, only to end up kind of mess that up, lives. so... He's got some shocking numbers to back up these concerns. Kip Rising is the district attorney for Yolo County, California. He's also the president of the California District Attorneys Association. Jeff, great to talk to you and finally get some statistics and some hard numbers to book with the perception. Then I'm going to do the same in the white area. This year, your office started tracking which offenders released without bail went on to commit new crimes in Yolo, California. And here's what you find. Of the 595 individuals released, 420 were rearrested for new, new crimes. That's a 70.6% recidivism rate. And of those, 103 offenders, 20% were rearrested for violent crimes, including murder, attempt, murder, kidnapping, robbery, carjacking, and domestic violence. What did you think when you saw those numbers? It's a staggering number. I mean, it frankly is, it shocks the conscience to think that that many new crimes were committed by these people, uh, released on zero bail, and uh, all of the new victims. That's what I thought about, all of the new victims who had been created as a result of this policy. So how is it that those people ended up on the streets in the first place? Was it, was it purely the guidelines of the California Judicial County? Was it the way that they were charged? What led to them getting back to the streets? Right, well, during 2020 and the first part of 2021, we were under a mandated zero bail policy because of court actions and local actions as well, not my shoes. But zero bail Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do it over here. And I don't know if you can see or not. Just kind of bringing it out, making a little curly cue. And wiping it off with the paper towel. And then when you see these policies taking effect in other states across the nation, and so many of these offenders taking advantage of the evolving role of justice, committing crime, getting released on zero bail, and then recommitting the You know, as a district attorney, are you frustrated in seeing what some of your colleagues and, and, and people in positions of leadership are doing? It's really outrageous to me. I mean, to watch this happen around the country, in places like New York and, and other states, and, and right here in California, this movement by certain people to make zero bail the law is ongoing. As we speak, there are conversations going on at the state capitol, which is right next to my county in Sacramento, where they're trying to put this into the law again, even though the voters rejected it in California. They rejected zero bail in 2020. So this is bad policy. It's a get-out-of-jail-free card. People are getting really hurt, even murdered, because of these policies, and we just need to stretch it. This is not a good policy. All right, well, we're seeing these numbers now, now that we've got some hard figures, have any effect on other jurisdictions across the country. Jeff Rising, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Sandra? All right, John, all new and two is we await President Biden's remarks on his plan to pay off up to $20,000 in student loan debt for some Americans. Senator Tom Cotton says the claim is disastrous. Lost of why, plus Steve Moore and Robert Wolf. A debate the merits of that student loan forgiveness. Caitlin Jenner reacts to the latest attack on women's sports, all that, and a lot more. As an American report, we'll do a brand new. We'll turn this around and try to do a little bit with the black. For every veteran homeowner who needs money for their family. I don't know how well it'll show up. Air Force. Home values are at record highs. The new Day 100 VA loan lets veterans borrow up to 100% of their home's total value and take out an average of $60,000 cash. 25% more cash than they get in a bank. United States Marine Corps, aviation maintenance, five years. That's why veterans from every branch, United States Army, military police, eight years. From every specialty, Marines, and infantry, four years. From every length of service. United States Army, Strategic Intelligence Officer, 28 years. Trust New Day USA. 
to make the most of their VA unwanted benefit. Call 1-855-670-5541. Type 2 diabetes well, that didn't work out very well. In the Ozempic Dry Zone. All over the And now one thing I'm going to try to do, and I just don't know if it's going to work or not. And I'm just kind of putting lines through it. Little squirrelies. Should have just left it go. Or maybe little squiggly lines, that's what I'm doing. trying to define some of the so I just did not like how it turned out so with innovative technology and flexible solutions so you have the capacity to scale and employees to make you more resilient so I'm basically just putting some lines in it and wiping it off I think that's all I'm going to do with this side. So we're going to do the other side a little bit. 
inflation puts taxpayers and other people's financial obligations, is unfair to those who paid their own way, and creates irresponsible expectations. But even some Democrats are worried that this could backfire. Do you worry from your side of the aisle that there will be people that say, I paid off my loans, or people that don't go to college saying, why do I forgive this? I'm already hearing that from Vermont. Now, Biden's plan didn't go far enough for some on the left. The NAACP had pushed for more than $10,000 uh, in cancellation handouts, saying President Biden's decision on student debt cannot become the latest example of a policy that has left black people, especially black and I, people, I'm just listening to the news. Who turned out in record numbers and provided 90% of their vote, vote to once again save democracy in 2020. And some analysts say there is some truth to that because white people will disproportionately we calculate almost 70% of the benefit is going to the top 60% of the income distribution. So this is not something that's targeting low-income uh, households. And people in the higher income households tend to not be as cash constrained to begin with. Expect to hear a whole lot of questions on what authority the president has to take this kind of action. You'll recall Speaker Pelosi last year said the president does not have that power and it would take an act of Congress. John. Jackie Hyper, live for us on the north lawn of the White House, which is about to get very busy. Jackie, thank you, Senator. Some economists are warning the president's handout is going to harm working class taxpayers while helping those at the top. Fox Business's Hillary Vaughn is live at the White House uh, as we await this announcement. So how much is the president's plan expected to cost the average American? Well, Sandra, it's costing every taxpayer, whether or not you went to college, whether or not you already paid off your own debt, ultimately every taxpayer is going to be bearing the brunt of this cost. President Biden announcing that taxpayer cash will be used to pay off $20,000 huh. of debt for those who went to college on Pell Grants, $10,000 of debt for everyone else. Only people making less than $125,000 will get this taxpayer funded payout. On top of that, Biden is extending the pause on student loan payments for everyone one final time to December 31st. First, this, of course, is not free. There is no such thing as making debt just disappear like a magician. The Penn Wharton budget model estimating just for giving $10,000 per borrower will cost around $300 billion. And it is ultimately taxpayers that are picking up the tab. The National Taxpayers Union Foundation puts the cost at about $2,000 per taxpayer. The administration, though, is brushing off concerns that this is going to hike inflation even higher. They say, because right now, no one is making any student loan payments. They think restarting payments at the same time they are paying off a chunk of the debt. They think the two will offset each other. But some Democrats, even more ago, doubted that the president was able to do this and he was going to do it. I don't know what else to do with this. It really, really did not turn out the way I wanted it to. But not an artist either. So I think we're just going to leave it like that. That's basically how it turned out. All right, let's bring in Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton. Uh, Senator, let's ask you first of all about that question that Hillary was just talking about. Let me get this does this little... pass constitutional muster? Uh, and if it doesn't, do you expect it to end up at the Supreme Court? Little pieces. No, John, I don't think it does. The president doesn't have the power to And I'm not worried about um, how it's on the side, how it's different. Um, different colors or whatever because it's kind of bright anyways so we're just going to leave it like that um, see how it dries Not just it's also highly inflationary. 
highly inflationary at a time when we still have record high inflation. And finally, it simply encourages colleges to raise tuition, harming a new generation of students. That's, that's why I say this is a terrible policy. It's going to harm many more Americans than it will help. And it's not just those who, who pay for their even college, coming out? Yeah, it school, is. paid them off, worked hard to pay for college while they were in it. It's also those who never went to college and chose not to go to college, perhaps because it was so expensive and they didn't take on that debt to begin with. They'll be on the hook for it. The Penn analysis looked at that. It's easy to throw around these big numbers, and it, they are alarming, but this, this, the taxpayers could be on the hook for $329 right. million, dollars, according to Penn. So they went a step further and said, take that cost, divide it into the There we have that. Oh my gosh, this has been going on for an hour just doing this one. We're going to do a part two on doing the other ones, and we'll just see how this one dries. So, there's that. Didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it, but I guess you can turn it that way. Or, I don't know, that way. So we're going to put this aside and um, we'll just start another video on